everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing one of the newest palettes from Too Faced and that is the Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar and I just got it in the mail so it is completely out of the box. Just worked with it a little bit and um, tried a couple of shades to see how the performance were but that it's pretty much about it so far so it's a little bit of a first impressions and swatches for now. So this is the box that it comes in. As you see, it's very similar to the original one that resembles a chocolate bar wrapping. On the back, you have all the information on the palette, the colors, and the names. And they also included the hashtag if you want to uh, hashtag them on Instagram or Twitter, which is TF Semi Sweet. So if you have any pictures or anything, you can just hashtag them as well. This uh, semi-sweet chocolate bar claims to have real cocoa as well as the regular one, as, as the original one. And it also claims to have antioxidants and things that are really good for your skin. So you're also training your skin up to uh, a good treatment. Now to the palette. This is the palette that they have created. It's very similar to the original one. I think that the color is a little bit lighter and it's also a little bit thinner, slimmer. And uh, I would say that the amount of product is pretty much the same, so that didn't change. And also the layout of the eyeshadows is pretty much the same. If you know what I mean, they have the same amount of eyeshadows and they also included two large highlighters that you tend to run out very very fast so that's always good to have uh, plenty of them. Another change that I noticed from the original one is that this time they actually included the names on the palette. The first one had a plastic film with the names and that wasn't very handy so this is highly highly appreciated. They also have the uh, little booklet where they find, uh, you know, step-by-step -step guides to put some looks. And also the mirror that is basically the same size as the original one. So if you were to compare it say, side by side, I would say that they're pretty much the same size, but they are different in width. So the uh, semi suite is a little bit thinner. Now another thing is that they didn't really include any dupes. All the colors in this palette are completely new, so you won't find the same colors in the original chocolate palette, so they're all new. I would like to do some swatches for you guys so you can actually hear my thoughts and uh, what each color could be used for. So the first color that we have is licorice, and licorice is basically a matte black, and this matte black is very 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 black it's very nice to have such a nice black i don't think they had included a black in the first palette at all then you have this coconut cream which is one of the biggest colors for highlighting and it is basically a matte cream color and it looks a little bit sheer on my skin but i use it as a highlighter for my brow bone and it worked just fine so it is actually pigmented for a light shade. Then you have Nougat, and Nougat is also a light color. This is kind of um, taupe-ish kind of color. Then you have Truffled, and Truffled is actually a matte brown. If I were to compare this color to anything, I would compare it to uh, cocoa powder actually it looks very similar to cocoa powder. Now to the last one it's called Hot Fudge and Hot Fudge is a shimmery berry dark brown. I don't think it has sparkles but it's so shimmery that it almost makes you think that it has sparkles but it doesn't. It's just very shimmery. It's a very nice shimmery dark dark brown. Now to the second row, we're starting with chocolate with cocoa chili. And cocoa chili is that very nice brown that has gold sparkles. And I'm really hoping that my camera catches that up. So if you see when I move it, you see the sparkles showing up. It has 
gold sparkles. Then we have pink sugar, and pink sugar is a different kind of eyeshadow. It's completely sheer, so I really hope this is picked up by my camera. It's completely sheer, so it doesn't really have much color. It's a very, very light pink with no pigmentation, but a lot, a lot of shimmer. So as you can tell, it has a lot of shimmer, but no pigmentation. So what I did, if I can show you, is I used it on my inner, in my tear dot. I used a little bit of a MAC fix and, or you can use water if you want. Just make sure you don't water the pan so you get some of the color, then you use a little bit of liquid and then you use it wet. That will give you the most payoff of the color and it's actually an amazing top coat to make something very shimmery or sparkly. So that's kind of a effect kind of shadow. Next we have pudding and pudding is also a matte brown but this is kind of a taupey brown. It's not actually a true cocoa kind of brown. Right then we have blueberry swirl which is basically the only pop of color in this palette and this is a very very shimmery teal very beautiful color really really shimmery then we have peanut butter and this is a beautiful orangey color and this one it's actually matte this is a great color for transitioning into your crease or anything uh, that ne needs to be doing with transition colors. It's really nice and it blends wonderfully. Last we have frosting and frosting is a very shimmery brown, almost like a burnt gold brown. There you go. Now to the last row, we have rum raising. And rum raising is a medium brown. This is a great, great color for uh, your lids. This is the kind of color that you can just place on your lower lid and have some mascara and go. It will work on its own. It's amazing and will go with any color on your crease. It's a really good color. Then you have mousse and mousse is a very light. It paints light brown, matte light brown. Then you have caramel and caramel is I would say the gold of the palette and it's also shimmery. It's a very nice orangey gold color. Then we have bonbon and this is also a little bit golden but I can see the difference between the two now that you have them next to each other. And the last one, which is the last highlighter, is called Butter Pecan. And this is actually shimmery. This is a shimmery cream, peachy color. If my camera would like to catch up on this one. Butter Pecan is the shimmery highlighter. It's, um, it, it's a creamy, peachy light color that is also very nice as a highlight color or as a lid color as well. So overall, this is a great palette if you like neutral colors. It has a good range and variety to achieve any kind of look from something very, very natural, pin-up, or even a smoky with a pop of color. So it is a nice neutral palette. I have to say that I believe, and I don't know if it's just me, but I think that in this semi-sweet palette, the scent of the cocoa, it's a little bit stronger. When you apply it, it really intoxicates you with chocolate smell, which I know that the other one had some scent to it, but it's not as strong as in this one. So overall, it's a very nice palette. I think that from my first impressions, it's a good quality. Most of the eyeshadows perform to the level that we expect them to perform for Too Faced and is a nice acquisition to your collection. So I hope this is helpful. If you have not put your hands on this palette, I believe it will be released on Sephora for everybody on the 16th, and then it should be on uh, Too Faced in the 20 something. I don't have the exact date, but I'll leave all the information down below and then you will be able to buy it from anywhere you want. I will have uh, pictures and everything into the video so you can actually see more in detail 
the colors and the palette on its own. I hope this was helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos to come, to follow me on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram if you would like to receive more information about makeup and beauty. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>